Hello, it's Richard here, and welcome to Wiley Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday again. It's come around so quickly. <laughs> Seems like a flash, doesn't it, since I was here last? I just don't know where the time goes to at the moment. You know, people keep saying, oh, it'll be Christmas soon. <laughs> oh, yes. Will it? Not noticed. Anyhow, Wiley Wednesday this week is about cookery and it's about mashed potato. Yes, the favourite of most of ours, mashed potato gloriousness. And how to save you a little time and perhaps a little money by using the microwave. And this is how I do mashed potato now. I don't do it in a pan full of boiling water. I do it in the microwave with a tiny amount of water. First of all, I'm using a category E microwave and it's a 950. So it's relatively powerful. And the reason I'm doing it in the microwave is, despite what you might have been told by some people, microwaves are very good at steaming vegetables. You retain a lot of the nutrients because you're not immersing the vegetables fully in water and then throwing that water away. I mean, we all need to be saving water. We all need to be saving energy. Microwaving vegetables is relatively economical. The process is just a little bit easier and slightly safer because I don't know about you, but draining a pan of boiled potatoes over the sink, you know, you've got to be careful, really, especially if you're getting older. But there are safety considerations to make with microwaving as well. Despite what people think, microwaving is not bad for doing vegetables. It's not so great for heating up high fat content foods where the, the fat is heated, is superheated, and therefore transforms into not so desirable ingredients that are carcinogenic. Microwaves work by making the water molecules vibrate, or the food molecules vibrate, and therefore heat up, and is you know, pretty safe these days, you know. I was scared of microwaves when I was a, a teenager. We didn't have one, and, you know, I knew friends who had them, and somebody had said something like, oh, be careful of microwaves, they'll cook you from the inside out. Apparently that's a load of old codswallop. Yes. A microwave that is damaged and very old and dirty shouldn't be used because, yeah, there is a chance of microwave leakage. But the distance that the microwaves would travel, apparently, you know, it really wouldn't cause you that much harm. So, you know, your organs aren't going to get cooked from the inside out. That's not going to happen. I've been steaming vegetables in the microwave for years and as far as I can tell, there's been no real health issues that have been directly connected with microwaving food. So I think it's relatively safe to do so. So we're going to chop the potatoes into inch cubes. We're going to put them into a large microwavable bowl. I'm using a glass Pyrex. And we're going to put two tablespoons of water and we're going to cover it with cling film with some holes in to let the steam escape and one hole large enough for me to put a knife through to check the cooking process. So I'm going to get on with it now. I'm going to the kitchen and show you how this method works. I've chopped the potatoes and you'll also notice I've not peeled them. I don't peel potatoes when I'm making mash because I want to keep the fibre and the nutrients that exist in the skin. Now obviously I've got rid of any black bits, you know, any undesirable bits that I don't like the look of, those have been chopped off. But peeling them, for me, I like mash with the skins on. I like potatoes in general with the skins on. And you can see I've just cut them into chunks. Not too large, you know, you don't want the big chunks that you would use when you boil potatoes for roasting, for example. This is um, done because the cooking will be quicker. Now I'm going to add to that water. One, two, and then I'm just going to have a look at the bottom. I think maybe one more, just one more. And just so you know, there are about 
I don't know, there is probably about five, five medium to small potatoes in there, which will be plenty for Paul and I for dinner. You can quite easily fill that up. And so if we look at the ratio here, so four to five medium to small potatoes, approximately two to three tablespoons of water should be enough. If you were to double that, and this is bearing in mind that Paul and I are greedy, if you were to double that, you're probably looking at doubling the amount of water. Now we're going to cover that in cling film. So no need to be too wasteful, just enough cling to cover the top. Nice and tight. And I try to sort of keep it, the edge of the cling film, around the edge of the bowl because it makes it easier to remove. Otherwise you're peeling it off. Nice and tight. And then with a sharp knife or some scissors, just make a few small holes around the outside. That's to stop it sort of exploding. And then what I do is make just a slightly larger hole in the centre, just so I can get my knife in to check the cooking. Let's put it in the microwave. So we're looking at approximately 15 minutes on full power. There we are. And just leave it. So it's been 15 minutes. I've used my oven gloves to take it out of the oven. Now I'm going to just use this hole in the top just to test that they're cooked. Yeah, they feel pretty soft to me. Now, safety. When you remove the cling film, you've got to be very careful because there will be an updraft of steam. Get the cling film off using the oven gloves. And there we have it. Your potatoes are ready for mashing. Now, you don't drain the water. You leave the water in, and because I'm using a glass bowl, I'm gonna mash very gently. Now, some people like crushed potatoes. They are crushed. If you want really creamy mash, you can add butter and milk. Just a knob of butter, there we go. And a splash of soy milk. Put my oven glove on again because it is hot. And gently mash and incorporate. You can add salt and pepper if you want, whatever you like. Some people even add some cheese and some mustard. So, there we have it, microwaved mash. Easy peasy, all in one bowl, and virtually ready to eat. I'll work that a little bit longer, but that's essentially it. So thanks very much for watching, and I'm sure you'll tune in next week for another Wiley Wednesday episode. Bye for now.